Hello, Dana Lynette here. I hope you're all well. Today I am going to be talking about Kimma Braid soft red hair versus Biba soft red hair. Okay, so I, uh, my first install of this sort of look was with Kimma Braid. And I'll just show you, I saved this little sticker, Kimma Braid soft red in the color one. It was about, it was really, good quality synthetic hair. Um, I wore it for about three weeks, the Kimma braid, and had to take it out. The hair did not look bad. I mean, it was starting to get um, fuzzy and kind of that old look. Some people say the older it look gets, the more natural it looks, maybe, but I, that wasn't my flow. Someone went on and took it out, plus it was, it was itching. It was itching a lot. Um, so, I mean, not terrible but my head was itching. So I wore it only three weeks and generally I don't wear protective styles more than three. I always have a goal of wearing them at least four weeks, but I think every single one that I've had, and I've not had too many, I've taken out in three weeks. So that's box braids and crochet braids and a couple sew ins, <clears throat> three weeks or less. So I took the camera braid out after three weeks, but you know, let me talk about the pros of that. The curl pattern on that hair, was beautiful. Um, it only took about, it took less than three packs to do my hair because uh, when you separate each um, dread, it separates into three pieces, which is great. The hair had a lot of shine, sheen. Um, some people will consider that a con, others a pro. I mean, for me, it was okay. It wasn't a big deal. Uh, and the maintenance was low. It just didn't take much for that hair. Uh, so I really enjoyed the Kimma braid. The con for that hair probably would be my head itched so much when I first put it in. Now I'm not saying like an allergic reaction, but I don't I don't know if it was because my braids were tighter than my cornrows were tighter than they should have been or what. But I did experience quite a bit of itching with that. Now currently. I am wearing the Biba soft dread. So I went to the beauty supply store in, in Lexington this time instead of my city. And they didn't have the Kimma Break. So I had seen this Biba soft dread in, well, on YouTube. I'd seen several tutorials for that look and I thought, well, this should be the same. Let me try it. Uh, what did I pay for this? I, I don't remember what I paid for this. Um, I think the Kimma braid was like seven or $6.99, $7, something like that. And then this may have been five or six. But the Biba, okay, so it is interesting. It's different. It's actually not exactly the same. Now, you would think it's the same when you purchase it. And I'll show you if I can get this out of here. You can see my video on my review of the Kimma braid hair and I actually show you the hair. Woo. So, this is what the locks look like. And it looks, you know, similar, but the Kimma braid, the actual strand, the lock seems more firm and sturdy. Uh, and the curl is tight and bouncy. Whereas this Biba dread is to me more flat, sort of flimsy, uh, neither of them are soft. I mean, they're soft dread, but I mean, they're, you know, the material is kind of, kind of hard, crunchy feeling. And that's for both brands. But this is just, I don't know, the, it just seems more droopy and not quite as tight of a curl. Uh, the Kimma braid was 14 inches. The Biba, I don't know how many inches, it doesn't say, but it is shorter. So I cut this in half and did everything just like the Biba. And it was so short and I was just like, what is going on? So I finished my whole head. Let's see in the back, I put the leftovers of the Kimma braid, which wasn't much. I, did, I think I, had, I did two cornrows of that. And then the rest of my hair, I did the Biba. And the Biba, like I said, the curl is not as tight. So I have a lot of like straight ends. And I, you know, I'm not a fan of that. I like the curl. So um, the Biba soft dread, the curl is looser. It's not as tight. So, you know, for some that'll be a pro, for others a con. For me, I wasn't a fan of that. Uh, 
But a pro for the Biba, my head is not itching at all. And so here's the thing. When I did the Kimmel braid, I didn't really know how to cornrow my own hair. A friend did it. She didn't braid my hair tight. I don't let people braid it tight, but it was pretty firm. And this time, I didn't really have anybody braid my hair. I watched a couple of tutorials on YouTube, learned how to cornrow my own hair. And let me tell y'all, my braids, yes, they were good. Pat myself on the back. Anyway, <laughs> so my braids are, are looser. I mean, they're firm, but they're looser than when my friend did it. So I'm wondering if the itching pertains to the actual synthetic fibers or if the itching has to do with the um, how, how tight your braids are. I don't know, but I'm not having a problem one with my hair. So, um, so what I did to correct the issue where it was just shorter than the Kimma braid and I didn't like the length, I, I added a few of the pieces. Instead of cutting them though, I just took, uh, like this piece is folded. So let's say this is a piece that's folded. And I just separated it and added um, long pieces and then just cut them where I wanted them. So right now they look a little straggly. I probably need to add a few more. And then I was able to cut the back more into like that bob shape. Uh, the Kimma braid, I used a lot, a lot fewer packs as well because those soft dread strands separate into four separate strands. So Kimma braid separates into four, soft dread separates in, I mean Kimma braid separates into three, soft dread separates into, four, I mean, Biba separates into four. So yeah, um, the hair is similar. I personally feel that the Kimma braid is a higher quality and a better curl. I just put this in like two days ago, or was it yesterday? Two days ago, I think. And we'll see what the lifespan is. I'm not finished adding strands and cutting and shaping, but this is where I am right now. So I hope this video was helpful, um, but this whole coil out look is bomb to me. Now I didn't do as well. Uh, I didn't try the invisible part method, and so you do see knots, but because it's a 1B in the color of my hair, I mean, it doesn't stand out. Somebody would have to be like on your head and people, we all know people do that, you know, they act like they wanna walk past your chair or they stand up while you're sitting down and they just all up in your head, like get out of my head, really. <laughs> just kidding, kinda. So anyway, we're talking about Kimma Braid, soft red hair, and Biba soft red hair. They're both okay to get the look, I uh, experienced itching with this one, no itching with this one, and I don't know if it's because of the hair or if it's because of my cornrows. So, um, yeah, maybe I'll do an update and let you know how Biba is working for me after three weeks. But um, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. God bless.